Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. It's Michelle and a movie. I am Michelle, your host, and we have a great movie review for you today. The title of the movie is called A Lot of Things. The movie premiered February 3rd, 2023, and it is cur currently streaming on Vudu, Amazon Prime, and Apple TV. The price is $6.99 to rent. Uh, the stars uh, in this movie is Elon Noel as James. Cleopatra Coleman is Vanessa. Lex Scott Davis is Candy. And um, Shamir Anderson is Jamal. Um, the cop in question is played by Justin Hartley. Um, it's a very good movie. I don't think it has been advertised enough, but it definitely, um, in my opinion, has some uh, good takeaways. So, this movie is about a married African-American couple um, named James and Vanessa. And James and Vanessa are affluent and they, have, they live in this mighty fine house in California somewhere um, but anyway they are sitting at home one evening watching the news after a hard day's work and they learn that yet another police officer has killed a young boy now um, Vanessa is just totally uh, perturbed with this it's, it's a little bit more than what she can handle. So she turns to her husband, James, and she asks a question. Um, where does this end? When is, when is this going to stop? And so um, James responds to her and he said, well, you don't know uh, what the circumstances were. I, I, I think you, you, you may be jumping the gun a little bit and so she goes what it's it's another black boy in a car playing rap music and uh th this this cop comes along and kills him so um through the course of first of all them getting into an argument about one being too lax and the other one being too hyper about this situation they realize um i think it's it's the through uh the 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 news somehow that this cop live right next door to them that that um took the little boy out uh, that was playing the rap music in the car so um they start you know they argued it back and forth and then Vanessa says that um, this is too much uh, we have to do something and and the husband is like do we really have to do something but anyway <laughs> it goes on to the point where the both of them, uh, Vanessa gets her point across to James that they really do need to do something, uh, especially since this man is living right next door to them. And um, she says that they they need to do something. They need to take a stand. And so um, they get together and first idea is that they want to do a post in social media about it. So, they, you know, go back and forth uh, about what they want to say in this social media post. 
and uh, they still can't agree. They at the table, you know, discussing it with, the, the, you know, brought the computer out of everything, start typing, ain't got nowhere, because they can't come to an agreement about what they want to say. And all along, you know, Vanessa is constantly throwing shade at James, uh, saying that he ain't got that thug in him enough. He ain't, you know, black enough. He ain't got the hood in him enough to complete the task, you know. So um, here go the other thing. They break out, you know, because she had, the, 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 before all of this happened, by the way, she had asked him did he want a drink because she needed a real drink, okay? So um, she goes and she makes this mixes this drink for him whiskey or whatever she takes one he uh she hands him one both of them stop and now let me tell you this let me tell you this alcohol and annoyance does not go together <laughs> i was just telling you but anyway both of them had you know took a, a nice long swig of that alcohol and then that's that's how all of this at the table and trying to figure out in the comments the throwing shade I, I had to I got to go back and, and and bring that up for you so you can understand so but anyway they get at the table and they uh, start trying to come together about what they gonna say in this social media post and they, you know, go back and forth. So and she asking him, how you going to say this? And what, how you going to do this? And he goes, and I don't, I forgot where the, the gun came from. But he goes and he gets a gun. And he starts simulating what he would say and do and all of, of, of this kind of thing. And so they go the 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 back and forth the banter between these two about what they gonna say gets so intense that they they talk they self hot especially Vanessa some about it just really made her hot and uh she uh asked him how was he how would he say something and and uh the both of them wound up getting a little bit and I'm sitting there going nah 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 what about the little boy what do you want to say that's bothering you about the little boy that just got shot by the police officer, okay? My God. So now <clears throat> we um we come to that point where I need to show you the the most important part in this video. And um, for the last couple of moves, we have not had that opportunity because there has been no real important part in the review that I was doing but we got one this time so now um, let's let's go to the clip you too you get off on power This would be where I get up and start looking for my draws, okay? Because I'd have to tell him I, I want a divorce. Because um, uh, uh, this him is too kinky for me, okay? I'm, I'm fixing the, the, the uh, fold up shop and I'm fixing to go all all the way over to my end of the house tonight, okay? 
uh, you know, because how far do, when we, even when we are married, how far do we have to go in the bedroom to be properly pleased, okay? Oh my God. So now, this movie does have some other important, important things that I would like to um, bring out to your attention. Um, the the I, I like the way that uh, there was some background into um, James and Vanessa's work life. You know how they. Um, came to be living in this fine house that they in and affluent as they are and uh, we did get to see some of the things that uh, James goes through and some of the things that Vanessa goes through in her in their work life um, they are I, from what I saw they are feeling like um, maids and butlers in a house okay that's that's the way they feel like they from what I could see they don't feel like they are respected on their jobs they're being paid but they aren't being respected for who they are and what they can contribute to this corporation or wherever the, the, the two characters are working at in, in this film. So they have a lot of um, animosity that has built up to cause them to, uh, well, should I say it, Vanessa has quite a bit of animosity built up to cause her to want to uh, uh, have take a stand against yet another down uh, uh, African American male by a, a, a white police officer and so um, the, the she seeks uh, James's uh, support as well as his participation in this thing so she goes back and um, she tells James that I was just accosted by this officer that just killed this boy and you know from that point uh, the whole thing excellent escalates and James asks her well exactly what happened and she says I did drop the apple and I walked over there and um, I just wanted to talk to him about what he did okay so <laughs> the movie really is a dark comedy um, it has some some uh, good uh, points to twist and surprise the audience um, there were a couple of uh, plot twists um, that I found it hard to connect um, to that that point where that 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 um, twist in the story goes pop, you know, because basically um, when you have a, a a surprise twist in a movie. Normally you get some kind of, of warning um, in, the, in the, the background that something a little bit unusual is going on and it needs to uh, be, it's, it's gonna wind up, excuse me, it's gonna wind up being revealed later on in the story. And, I, and on, on a couple of those surprise twists, I didn't exactly uh, make that connection but other than that um, this movie um, 
is is good because it's original. It's uh, it's original, and um, I found it to be very entertaining, um, absolutely and incredibly insane, <laughs> and not very realistic, but very entertaining. And the the movie was the the, the story. The writing was original, and. Um, it uh, should ha it should be promoted just a little bit more because I almost missed it if I had not been uh, skimming uh, uh, through the the roster of movies that are out in February I would have missed this so I, I, I believe um, you will not be upset about what you paid for it um, even if this was in the theater you wouldn't be upset about what you paid for it because it's, it's not bad at all. And um, it's Michelle in a movie. It's going to have to give this one. It's a four, four stars. And that's because of those plot points that um, it just seemed like they just kind of, the, 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 the twist just kind of popped out of nowhere and I wasn't able to follow exactly well, what, at what point in the story did did this, did, did, how, how would I have ever known that this was going to happen, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I enjoyed the movie. Okay, I got two more takeaways from this movie. And very important life applications. And that's when you decide to take a stand about something make sure you understand okay and then the next thing now I see why the Lord says vengeance is mine um if you have liked this movie review please like and subscribe and I will see you at another It's Michelle and Movie Review.